So good morning. Welcome to week three. I'm excited. We're about halfway done. So today we're working with ANOVA, which is anal analysis of variance. And this allows us to look at multiple groups if you want. Before we were only looking at male, female. Well, now we can look at different groups within that male or female and determine if it is. We can have as many variances as we need. Uh, in this case, we're going to use about five or six of them. So what we're going to be doing here, I'm just showing you the Excel port to make it a little so you understand it. In our data section, we're going to need our salary. Remember, we're always working with salary. So please select your salary first. Highlight that salary. Press and hold your control key. Then I'm going to press, I'm going to select, we need grade and gender. And you'll see why in a second. This is what we're going to be working with. And I'm going to copy this, control C. I'm going to come to week three, and I'm going to place them all right here. So if you scroll over a little bit, I have my salary, which we're going to be calculating our means on. See if there's a difference. We have our gender, male and female, and we have our grade. So if you notice, it's all highlighted. I want you to come up to the data tab. I want you to press the sort command. The sort command allows us to have different information. We're going to be able to sort on more than one column, and this will make more sense later. So what we care about, grade first. Then I add a level, and I'm going to select gender. I hit OK. Notice, I have grade, I have female, and then I have male within that grade. So if we look at this grade A, you'll see male, female, all in grade A. So what we need to do over here, I'm going to take this. I need all of my A group. I'm just going to control C, plop it in here. And I come down to right now I don't care about male, female. I'm going to do this. This is my B group. Here's my C group. My D group. E group, and my F group. Now, this is what we're going to be using, this, this group of data. So we're going to be using, you know, you're going to fill out all this wonderful stuff. Where's our input data, your uh, hypothesis, your alternate hypothesis. What test are we doing? Well, we're going to come up to our data analysis, just like we've done in the past. And we have ANOVA, is what we want to do. So where's our data? Where are we going to put it? And here's what you want to select, OK? And you'll go through that. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out is down. So you're going to fill in all this as you go along and all hypothesis means of differences. You're going to get all that from the uh, information. Now, down here, you're going to have a count. This is your count that you're going to be having. So, how many males in group A? Well, that's why I had you bring this over. In this case, it's three males in group A, and however many, this is what, 12, 13 ma females. Group B, again, three males, one, two, three, four females. And you can just put this information. So this information is within here. So you have that a little bit. Then you're going to complete this. So I hope this helps you at least get started within it so you use the right data. Please make sure you use the salary. I know in the example it's showing you the comp, but we want salary. That's what we're concerned about is, is there a difference in the salary? So. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to email me or post them online. I check, email, I check the postings daily, check my emails daily, uh, post online, maybe someone else is there. I also encourage you uh, to check the daily the uh, discussion board on a daily basis if you can. There might be something there that helps you. Someone else might be struggling with something and they post it. Someone might respond. So this class is a really good class for you to be checking that discussion board as frequently as you can. I know we're all working and we're very busy. I do appreciate all your hard work, but let's get through this. We're halfway done. Uh, congratulations, and we're going to continue on. Thank you, and remember to smile.